Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vipul and as you can see, we have two new products here for you. It's uh, basically the same product, but two different variants of the same product. And this is an electric bus from a new brand called Switch. Now, Switch Mobility, it's a new brand who has entered the Indian market and they have launched their electric buses. Now, this is a subsidiary of Ashok Leyland and Ashok Leyland, whatever EV products they're going to make from now are going to be under this brand. So light commercial vehicles, three wheelers, everything will be under the Switch brand. So they have launched two buses. Uh, the one on the right is the standard. One on the left is the ultra low entry. As you can see, this one is a little shorter. This one is a little taller. I'm just going to tell you uh, what's different in both the buses and what are their spec sheets. So let's check them out one by one. So this is the spec sheet of uh, the EV12 standard. And as you can see, the application is intercity, uh, intracity, staff, school bus. So a, a more passenger focused bus. Uh, you get a 235 kilowatt uh, peak battery, uh, which produces 3100 Newton meters of peak torque. Uh, you get an advanced lithium NMC battery uh, and uh, you get full air suspension, disc brakes at front, drums at rear. Uh, you get a 300 kilometers of range in a single charge and up to 500 kilometers per day with dual gun charging. Yes, the bus supports dual gun charging, which is fast charging and the bus can be charged within 1.5 to 3 hours. Dimensions are uh, the floor height of the standard is 900 millimeters. Height is 3,350 millimeters. Length, it is a very long bus, 12,000 millimeter. Width is 2,600 and wheelbase is 6200 millimeters and as you can see the seating capacity can be customized to 40 or 45 seats plus a driver so this is a more customer focused bus and uh, a, a more passenger uh, focused bus and it can be customized to suit your business needs now let's take a look how the bus is from the inside so to get into the bus you have just one doorway and getting into it is fairly easy. Could be a little difficult for uh, aged people. And um, as soon as you enter, you see this uh, driver cabin, uh, which is a single seat and the steering wheel, of course. Uh, so Clayland branding here, also here. Uh, this whole piece has been lifted out from an Ashok Clayland bus. And the switch gear, now the quality is not uh, very good. Uh, obviously this is a pre-production unit and the production variant will have much better switch gear quality uh, walkie talkie for the intercom in the bus and obviously since it's an electric it's a fully automatic gearbox and uh, let's talk about the passenger sheets so uh, this bus if you can see the seats they look very very comfortable you have good amount of leg room and i'm going to sit here and show you how it is so yeah you get a good amount of leg room you can recline the seats so it's pretty comfortable so luxury tour operators can obviously opt for these buses for you know intercity travel or intercity travel as well and this bus can also be used as a school bus so that's how the row arrangement is you get a good nice space here but it's too high so your feet are going to be hanging so not a very ideal place so these are the seats that you where you would want to be in because you get a good amount of leg room other than that the aisle is uh, pretty wide it's very comfortable to walk through it even if you're carrying some luggage you should be able to walk through it very easily so that's the standard ev12 let's take a look at the low entry variant and see how things are there so this is the ultra low entry variant of the switch ev12 and let's take a look at the spec sheet uh, obviously the application is intercity tarmac staff so tarmac this bus can be used at the airports to ferry passengers from the airport to the plane um, it has a permanent magnet synchronous ac motor just like the other one the standard bus so there's no difference in the power output and the battery capacity. 
uh, so you get the same 300 kilometers range on a single charge and you can get up to 500 kilometers per day using the dual gun charger uh, disc brakes at the front and rear on the ultra low entry variant and fast charging can be done in 1.5 to 3 hours now the floor height here is a little less at 400 millimeters the height of the bus is also less 3180 millimeters length is 12,000 millimeters width 2600 and wheelbase is 6320 millimeters now the sitting capacity on this bus is a little less than the standard is just 35 passengers plus the driver and let's get into the bus and check how the seating arrangement is now as soon as you get into the bus first of all getting in here was really easy just one step up and you are inside the bus uh, single seat driver uh, seat here the steering wheel switch gear quality uh, not so good as of now uh, the production unit should get better switch gear quality dashboard straight out of an Ashok Leyland and this seat too does not look as comfortable as it was on the standard variant if you can see that seat is a little wider and longer so it's more comfortable um, the seats for the passengers as well do not look as comfortable as they were on the standard version now this is not meant for long distance travel this is meant for shorter commutes wherein passengers will spend not more than 30 minutes of their time and which is why the seats as you can see they are hard plastic the cushioning is not very soft and if you see uh, the leg room it's decent it's not bad but yeah you can spend about 30 minutes to 45 minutes in this seat and not complain about it the aisle is really wide on this one and this bus like any other airport transport bus so if you've been in a airport transfer bus you are uh, will quickly you know recognize this arrangement and mostly people stand and they sit at the airports so that's how the things are inside the ultra low entry variant of the ev12 let's take a look at what's happening at the back of these buses as you can see pretty long buses 12,000 millimeters so they're pretty wide the ultra low also gets an exit win door right here so that is an added advantage now another interesting thing both the buses get a camera for reverse parking which is really good and convenient for the driver and this is how the buses look from the back this is the standard this is the ultra low entry uh, let us know how do you like these buses and what do you think of now the buses getting into the EV market and new brands coming in do let us know in the comments and like the video if you've liked it uh, share it with your friends and family subscribe to motor rides if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload our next video this is Ripple signing off I'll see you in the next video until then rev hard ref free and drive safe